And the Bible says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. He said, the grace of God that appear unto all has teach us the denying ungodliness and worthiness that we should live soberly and righteously in this world. And the grace of God is to help you to say no to sin. momentarily I mean I'm waiting on God by the hour I'm saying God by maybe 11 o'clock I'm gonna have my breakthrough experience I mean I'm, maybe it'll be 12 o'clock but I believe every hour that my God is able and if that's you I want to come in agreement with you in prayer this morning I want I want to kick in with you and my faith and your faith you believe for me I believe for you but I want you to come up here right now and say God I'm moving out right now and I'm believing that the ground is shaking and I'm believing that you're going to see me through. If that's you, you're waiting right now. You're waiting right now. Pastor, agree with me. Agree with me, Pastor. That's it. I need a breakthrough. I need it this hour. I need a breakthrough, and I need it right now. God, you know my situation. That's it. By faith, you've come. Lift up your hands. By faith, oh God. By faith, oh God. I need you now. I need you now. Oh, how I need you now. You know, God, you know exactly what I need. I cried out to the Lord, and he heard me. Oh, I cried out to the Lord, and my God heard me, and he lifted me up. 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 Come on. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. I said he lifted me up. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. He lifted up. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. He lifted me up. Oh, lifted me up. He 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 lifted me up. Right now, I lift the heavy, heavy veil that's on you. I lift it. The enemy's trying to present discouragement and depression. But this morning, I tell you, it's a new day. You can begin again. You can begin again. You can begin again. God turns the page. Oh, a new page, new chapter right now. Because of your obedience and coming up here, God says, I've got your portfolio before me. And he tells you, I am able. I am able. Do you believe it this morning? I'm so able. Yeah, I am able. I am able. Tell him, I am able. I am able. Oh, I'm able. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Now in your prayer right now with your eyes closed I want you to see that very thing that you're crying out to God for I want you to see it done I want you to catch a vision of family unity of a financial crisis being turned upside down a marriage being salvaged a body being healed what is it that you see in your spirit you have to have a vision a vision of holiness, a vision of wholeness this morning. 
He wants to bring you through your situation. So, Father, now, I praise you. Now, I just need a, a circle of people right around here. Believers, just come in close. Let's envelop them. That's a, just a circle of believers. Extend your hands in this direction. You guys, circle of believers holding your hands. Believers, hold hands. Believers, hold hands. Believers, hold hands. Now, you believers, these folks need a breakthrough. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let God be God. God is working right now while you're standing here. He's out there taking care of your business. He's out there taking care of your business. He's out there taking care of your business. In the name of Jesus, we take authority in the invisible realm. We take authority in the invisible realm right now, believing that he's a turnaround God. Oh, he's a turnaround God. We take authority in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be empowered by the Holy Spirit of God right now. Quitting is never an option. Say it. Quitting is never an option. Say it again. Quitting is never, one more time. Quitting is never an option. You've got it in you, baby. You've got it in you. You have this great and mighty God in you. Say, it's in me. And I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Let the weak say, let the sick say, let the bound say, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Come on, he's working. He's working. He's working right now for you. He's working right now for you. He's working right now, he's working right now. All you need to do is believe. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. believe. With your mouth, confess it. With your mouth, confess it. I believe, I believe, I believe. The devil hates it. Woo! Come on. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, yeah. Come on. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Do you? Do you? I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, yeah. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, hallelujah. I believe, I believe, I believe. Those are the two worst words you could ever say out loud in the presence of your adversary. He hates to hear it. I believe. Everything's going upside down, but you know what? I believe. I believe. He hates it. Keep believing. Amen? And it shall come to pass. Tell three people, it shall come to pass. Come on, come on. Tell somebody. It shall. It shall. It. We all have a different it. But it shall come to pass.
many of you came to lift up the name of Jesus? Is he worthy? Is he worthy? All right, come on. Lift him up. 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 For all men to see. He said, I'll draw all men unto me. one of us we go through our difficulties from time to time but I want you to know he promised he promised that we will go through and that we will be victorious he promised that he will never leave us and he will never forsake us and he has kept his promise I believe God I choose to believe God I've said many times in the past I know what it is to read in the word of God and experience the, or, or hear about the greatness of God of Abraham and of Paul and all the things that God has done, mighty things. And I started to say, God, I want to experience you. I want to know you in a great and a mighty way. I want to know you. I just want to experience you. Do you know the difficulties? helps us to know who really God is. It's one thing to have good times, but it's another thing when you have to go through difficulties. But because when you stay close to Him and you get to know Him and you learn of Him, that is why I don't take church for granted. It's awesome to have great music. It's awesome to be in order and worship God but when a song can come out of your heart, it doesn't matter what because you know that God is good. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Baruch haba v'ashem Adonai means blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Today you've been talking a lot about the fire of God and if there's ever a time you need a fire is now. When the world is consumed by every kind of challenge there is. You look at Europe and what's happening there. You look at Iran. You look all over the world and there are challenges everywhere. If the church is going to make it we need a fire of God in church. 
I don't know about you, but I don't want to go to church when I know how it's going to begin and I know how it's going to end. I want God to show up. I want to experience something I've never experienced before. I want to go where I've never gone before. Come on, I want to have what I've never had before. I want to have what I've never had before. I want God to take me and let me see what I've never seen. I want, I want excitement. I want life. I want the fire of God in my life. And today I want to share on keep the fire burning. It's one thing to get it, but it's another thing to keep it. Tell somebody, you got to learn to keep the fire burning. Oh, glory to God. God wants you to give the fire to you. And the Bible says in the Old Testament, when they were going to dedicate the tabernacle, God sent fire from heaven. And he gave the fire and told them three things about the fire. It was a divine fire. And the fire was given for a divine purpose. But the fire was kept by human responsibility. Oh, I tell somebody it's a divine fire. The fire was given for a divine purpose. But the fire was kept by human responsibility. And the sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu offered unto God strange fire. Fire that did not come from heaven. And the Bible says the fire of God came out and consumed them. And we have had so much strange fire in the earth today. Do people doing all kinds of strange things. But the word of God, the time has come. We got to get back to the Bible. We got to get back to the Holy Ghost. We got to get back to reality. We can't live the way we have lived in the past. We got to go where God is leading you. And I tell you, there is power in God. God is not a God of the past. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He Peter needed it in order to make it. I need the fire of God today. I believe we are living in the best time. Peter would have loved to live in this time. This is a time of everything evil. But this is a time we will see the glory of God. For the Bible says darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon thee. When, they give, when God gave them the fire, he said to them, Now this fire is from heaven. He opened heaven, poured the fire out. Just like he did in the days of uh, Elijah. But before that he did it, when they were going to offer up the tabernacle and they were going to dedicate it to him. He poured the fire and the fire was for this purpose. And I got to go quickly because I want to pray for you. The Bible says it was given for this purpose. And they used the fire to offer sacrifices. It was used in the, in the, in the altar which was for sanctification. And they used the fire in the lampstand, which was for illumination. You can't get illumination or revelation without the Holy Ghost. That's why there's so many people who don't even know God. They don't even know what God is saying because you can only have illumination by the Holy Ghost. In the, book of, in the book of Ephesians, Paul says, I pray that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. And you may know what is the hope of his calling. God wants you to know where you are going. God wants to show you what he has for you. God wants to reveal to you. He said, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will show you things to come. And that's why everybody else is crying, but you got a vision. Is there anybody here? You got a vision. Maybe God showed it to you 20 years ago. You will not Die until the vision God show you come to pass. No matter what the devil does, he can't destroy you because I got a vision. 
my daughter, the first day she was going to take the chemo for the first time, God opened a portal and took her to India and show her shaving little girls from prostitute houses. And she would shave them and put her under her arms and establish an apostolic house of refuge for them. And that's why we knew she was not going to die. Because when God show you a vision, there is no devil in hell that can destroy you because you've got a vision. Come on, hallelujah. Caleb said to Joshua, he said, remember the promise God made to me 40 years ago to, to Moses. And now I'm ready to walk in what God has for me. Some of you have been waiting a long time, but I came to tell you today, your wait is over. He that saw you is going to bring his word to pass. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's going to bring his word to pass. The devil may try to kill you by every possible means. But he that began a good work in you is able to perform it. I told you the last time I was here about the bomb in Suriname. In the vehicle who uh, I drove in it all week. And they didn't know why the bomb did not go off. But the bomb could not go off because it is not possible for me to die now. I got a vision that must be fulfilled. I got people that must hear my voice. Come on, hallelujah. I got nations that must know. I got to put these foot on nations and glorify the name of the Lord. I came today to tell you that every evil word that has ever been spoken against your life, let them fall to the ground and die. Let the word of the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Let the word of the Lord come to pass. Let the word of the Lord come to pass. You know, people talk against you and they criticize you and put you down. They speak evil against you and they, and they try. But God did not begin it with nobody. He, he began it by himself. He knew you in himself. His thoughts over you are wonderful. The Bible says that he loves you. He believes in you. He has confidence in you. You fell down but you get up again. With all the things the devil has done in your life, you still believe God and God will bring his word to pass but it's the Holy Ghost that gives illumination but today I want to talk about how the fire kept she's one thing to get the fire it's another thing to keep the fire and I don't know about you but I want to keep the fire do you know that if you were to live in this life and don't pray for three days, the fire will go out? If you don't minister for God for three days in your life, you got to start it all over again. And if you're going to walk in this thing, you got to maintain it. That's why God gave them manna from heaven every day. He didn't want them to keep that which was from yesterday. He wanted to get fresh manna. He wanted to have a fresh relationship with him. But the fire, look in Leviticus chapter 6. The fire was kept by human responsibility. The Bible says the priests, in order to keep the fire burning, look at verse 11. And the Bible says, and he shall put off his garment, and he shall put on other garments. And he shall carry forth the ashes without the camp unto a clean place. And then the fire upon the altar shall ever be burning in it. It shall never be put out. And the priest shall what? Burn wood on it every morning. And lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And it shall be burning thereon. And the fat of the peace offering. Verse 13. And the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out come on it shall what never and God is teaching us how to do it 
He is showing you that this is not something for some preacher somewhere. It is for you. You can have the fire in your life every day. You can walk in this relationship every day. But if you're going to follow the word of God, number one, he says if you're going to have the fire of God, the priest must take off their garment and they must put on the garment of the priest. They must put on new garments. The reason why we have so many people not walking in God is because they're not willing to put off the old man and put on the new man. They want to live with God their own way. They want to keep their own attitude. They want to behave a certain way. But if you're going to walk in God, <coughs> you got to walk in this relationship. I got to be willing to put off this garment. You know, there's certain things that we say, I know what's amazing people say, but that's being human. And that's being human, so it is human to behave a certain way. Yes, it may be that way, but if you're going to see the glory of God in your life, you got to be willing to say to this flesh, you're going to bow down to the king of glory. It is not the flesh will rule me, but I'm going to be ruled by the spirit of God. I can look at this body and say, no. Paul says, I bring my body under subjection, lest after I have preached the gospel, I myself be a castaway. You look at the body of Christ today, and people run rampant. Some people preach a gospel of grace, as if grace is some license to what is wrong. But that's not what grace is for. And the Bible says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. He said, the grace of God that appear unto all has teach us the denying ungodliness and worthiness that we should live soberly and righteously in this world. And the grace of God is to help you to say no to sin. Hey, I trust you've enjoyed our program today. We want it to be a blessing to you. We want it to be a point of contact where you could receive all that the Lord has for you. I've got good news for you. If you'd like to have a CD or a DVD of this entire program, we only gave you a small portion, just call the number on your screen and we'd be glad to send it to you for just a small donation. Whatever the donation is, it doesn't matter. All proceeds go into our food pantry where we feed the hungry week after week here. Love you. Want to bless you. Call the number on your screen if you want prayer. We have prayer counselors filled with love and the power of God. would love to come in agreement with you. God bless you until we see you again.